I'm three on your side's Gary Harper. During the pandemic, a lot of folks turned to their smartphone and downloaded mental health apps just to help them get through. But Consumer Reports says you have to be careful what apps you download. Mental health apps are becoming increasingly popular and offer a range of options, from guided meditations to appointments with a licensed therapist. But mental health apps are not always covered by the same medical privacy laws like HIPAA that protect the information that you share with a doctor in person. And even when HIPAA rules do apply, they may not cover all the data that an app collects. What companies tell you about what they do with your data is often pretty vague and confusing, and it's usually buried in privacy policies where it can be hard to find. Consumer Reports looked at several popular apps and found that many of them send information to third parties like Facebook or Google. This kind of data is often used for advertising or other business research. And while it's a common practice, it may not be something that you would expect from apps that deal with mental health. We didn't see these apps sharing details about your condition or what you're telling your therapist, but they may be letting other companies know you're using a mental health app. Consumer Report says you should know if and where your information is being shared. If you're using a mental health app, be sure it's clear about who will be administering your care. It's worth seeking out licensed mental health professionals, and there are plenty of services that will connect you with them. Consumer Report says there's a lot of other ways to get through the pandemic without downloading mental health apps. For more information on that, Consumer Reports has a link on our site, azfamily.com. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.